So far, so good. So what are you doing out here? Taking pictures? Of what? Oh, wait till this guy gets over here. He, he wants to be in the middle in the middle of it. You got your uh, driver's license ID on you or something? Do you have an ID or something? No. you have a driver's license or anything? I do. Officer Marks? Yes. Officer... What's your name? Can you get your name badge number? No, what's your name? I can't get your name and badge number? Sir, no. what, what are you doing out here? You sure? Positive. Okay. So what are you doing out here? Taking pictures. Of what? Anything I can see. Any reason why you got your face covered? It's cold. Oh, okay. I'm all bundled up. We understand it looks kind of suspicious, right? I don't know why. It's cold. I see you're not cold, but I am. These guys have heavy jackets on as well. So, you're taking pictures? That's all I'm doing. Taking pictures of who? Of Any, what? Anything I can see. Anything you can see, huh? Including you. That's fine. I'm taking pictures of you too. I know. I see it. Yeah. That's so why I need your name batch number so I can request the footage. So you can request the footage? Mm-hmm. Nah. Uh, nah. You know, HPD policy is that you identify yourself when you're interacting with citizens and they request the information. Yeah. I don't follow that. Yeah. You don't follow policy? You want to remove your face so I can see who I'm talking to? You don't follow policy? Do you want to remove your mask? Are you going to stay or are you going to leave? Are you making me leave? You telling me to leave? I'm asking you to leave. Why? Because this is suspicious. People are calling the police. There's a the guy on a mask filming people. All these cars run by. Like, why is this guy filming me? Because only six out of ten of them are wearing their seatbelts. Okay. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing a seatbelt compliance check. Why? Because I want to. Can I go so you have no ID on you whatsoever? I don't think I have to give you my ID. So what's your name? So no name, no nothing, huh? You can call me a good citizen if you need a name, put in a report or something. Well, we're running by the DA. Say, hey, does he have to identify when we ask him this and that? Last well, time I checked, they had to identify, he had some ID on you too. Oh, that's terrible that you would say that. Because the DA's going to tell you that 3802 says you only have to identify yourself if you've been lawfully arrested. Or detained. No, not detained. Lawfully arrested, not detained. All right, so what's no. your goal? Well, am I being detained? Sir, what's your goal with all this? What, am what I being detained? Are you detaining me? Not yet. Sir, what's your goal with all this? What are you... Are, are you, you detaining me? What are you trying to do? I mean, I, I was under the impression this was a consensual contact. It is. You're, so you're, do you want to leave? No, I want so to continue you, with what I'm doing. Okay, well, what's your goal with all this? To see how many people come out of this building wearing their seatbelts and how many come out without okay, wearing their seatbelts. Okay, what are you going to do with that information? That's not relevant to the conversation. It's my information. I'll do whatever I want with it. I'll publish it. Don't publish it. Send it to these guys and recommend that they, they have their people buckle up for safety. Or whatever I want to do with it. Mm -hmm. I really bad. 
Alright, I'm gonna we'll make some phone calls. Yeah. Have fun. No big deal. Yeah. Have Art check by with me over off of Derry Ashford. Shouldn't you be out there directing traffic? No, I'm going to be right here and see what you got going on. I, th I think he's got it under control. No, I'll be the judge of that. You're off duty. You should go take care of your, your extra job. Right now, you, you're my job right now. I'm not your job. Trust me, right about now, you're my job. Yeah, maybe I'm the boss. I doubt that. You doubt it? Yeah, that's very serious. Okay. Uh, I'll give you a helpful hint. I am the boss. Okay. You the boss of what? Uh, you work for me. I work for you? You work okay. for me. That's fine. And you know that policy requires you to identify yourself. I hear you talking. Okay. What substation you work out of? What's your name again? I didn't get my name. I asked you what substation you work I out of. I asked you what's your name. I, I told you if you need a name for a report, just put good citizen. That's not good enough for me. It's perfect. It's all no. that you need to know. No, it's not good enough. I mean, I, I guess you could call me daddy. Or if you continue to act this way, you could call me plaintiff. Whatever you want to call it, man. Mm -hmm. I ask you what's your name, what's your purpose of being out here, why are you filming everybody? I've already told you. Okay. Well, I called my sergeant. He wants to come talk to you. He can come talk to me if he wants to. All right. He can find me. Did it worth all this trouble? Worth what, uh, what trouble? doing this. You're the one making a big deal about it. I explained to you what I was doing. I explained to you why I'm doing it. Yeah. I'll also explain to you that, that I'm on public property. This is not a private, this is not private property. It's not a private street. Okay. And I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. You had, if you're a certified peace officer in the state of Texas, that's a question. Are you a certified peace officer in the state of Texas? Are you T-Cole certified? You had updated training on public photography and open carry in 2016, January of 2016. Okay, I'll, I'll arrange some updated classes for you. Don't worry. So why are you doing this? Just I, I told you what I'm doing. I'm doing a seatbelt compliance check. You can't do anything about that. Says who? Well, what are you gonna do about it though? So uh, you're gonna call them maybe I'll notify the safety director of this corporation. What's he gonna do about that? He'll put out a memo, tell people to put their seatbelts on. Sure. Now, what I do with the information is between them and me. There's no law being broken here. 
which means you have zero authority. I don't know what the sergeant's going to tell you that I haven't already told you. That you don't already know. I, I'm shocked that you're escalating this, taking it to the next level. I'm escalating things. You can call the sergeant out here. Well, I called him to see what he wanted to do. He said, I'll make the team on the side. Yeah, I think that's normal. I mean, you could be sitting here catching those people right there and telling yeah, them to put their seatbelt. I can't because I have to deal with you. You're not dealing with me. You're not detaining me. You have no, it's a consensual contact. You don't have to be here. You don't complain, so I do until the situation is resolved. The situation's already resolved. There's no law being broken. We got a couple of policy violations off of Officer, whatever his name is here. Daddy. I like to call Daddy. You want me to call you Daddy? Yeah, you call me Daddy. How about I just call you Ray Ban? You go with your sunglasses, Mr. Ray Ban. All right. This is exactly, exactly the attitude that we are training out of Houston police officers. That attitude right there, because you're you're causing more harm than you're doing good. Y'all? Or you? Uh, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes? 20 minutes? Something like that. Did you walk here? Drive here, ride a bike? Came in by parachute. Parachute? I walked here. I walked here, I walked here from the Omni, right Thank next you. door. We have a gang conference going on over there. What? We have gang conference going on over there. Gang conference? The Omni? Yeah. There's a lot of prostitution going on there too. Is it really? Oh yeah. Oh, well, maybe that's why they wanted to have the conference there. You know, gang investigators are a party bunch. Uh, the one in San Antonio is much nicer. Corpus is the best one I've been to. It's right on the right on the uh, Gulf. Nice view. Never been to that one. Have you been to one in Corpus? I mean, uh, San Antonio? Not that one either. Whatever. Well, I went to Harvard Business School for work. I never stayed there. But it was nice inside. You know what? When you're spending the taxpayer's money, you can have the best. Who's spending the taxpayer's money? I said, with these gang conferences and stuff, when you're spending oh, the, the taxpayer's... Gang conferences here? Yeah. Oh. It's in the Texas room over there. Who? Yeah. In the Texas room. Texas room? Yeah. Texas Association of Gang Investigators? You're not, you're not familiar with that? Yeah. That one right there, no seat belt. Yeah. That one right there, no seat belt. Which one? Mustang. Yeah. I don't know, maybe if we stand out there on the curb, that'll get their attention. They'll see you and they'll start putting their seat belts on. Well, what's your thing with seat belts? What do you mean? Everybody should wear their seat belts. It's a safety thing. Yeah. Save your life. I always thought it was kind of weird law though, because one of those laws that only, only affects you. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, what? Like, 
me not wearing my seatbelt doesn't really affect anyone else. Yeah. That's one of, that's one of those ones I always thought was kind of weird, though. Yeah. I, one of those. I agree with you. I think it's a stupid law since we don't require motorcyclists to wear helmets. Yeah. I mean, I think everyone should definitely wear their seatbelt. I, I, I think, think if you're stupid if you don't. I think it's your choice. If you crash into a wall and you're not wearing your seatbelt and you die. I, I think it's your choice. Just like motorcyclists should wear helmets, but those, most of them don't. One of those Darwin things. Yeah. If you choose not to wear your seatbelt. Yeah. Honestly, I've always worn a seatbelt, whether yeah, so it was I. mandated yeah. or not. Yeah. Even if it didn't, if it didn't save me, at least they'd know where to find the body. Yeah. But uh, the law is the law. The law says we got to wear yeah, it. That's true. The law is the law. Star's not coming? Good day. Awesome. Thank you.